Experimentation and observation, that's all a true scientist cares about. And I am a scientist. Everything in the world is an experimental test subject. Of course, that includes myself as well. Now that I've collected the necessary initial data from all of you, I think we're ready to begin the experiment. Hello, once again, this is the professor. Today's subject should like my response, seeing as I use Dr. Sign, and he seems to be a fan of Soul Eater. After all, look at his channel. Let's begin. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I want to talk about a couple of things that, uh, that piss me off. Got to get it off my chest. You mean like people who don't put stickers on their caps and don't leave the bills straight? GameStop. Oh, okay, sure. Company that I hate the most with an ever-loving, heated, fiery, thermite-degree passion. GameStop. I try to avoid going to GameStop as much as possible because I'm very unhappy with the way they, uh, just, just the way their whole company is run. And obviously the trade-ins and how they rip people off. You know, like I said, most of the time, I do my shopping for video games on Amazon. Alright? Well then, what is there to complain about? You just stated how to deal with any complaints you might have. You know, by not going into GameStop. But that would just be too easy, wouldn't it? After all, I'm sure you didn't get over 17,000 subscribers and an average of 3,000 views per video by being intelligent. By the way, you do realize that that shows that 83% of your subscribers don't watch or care about your videos. Just wanted to put that out there. Um, your Amazon, you get reasonable prices. All right, you buy from you you buy from sellers, and the used copies that they're selling are reasonable prices, and they work. Unlike GameStop, which once sold me Final Fantasy X, and it didn't fucking work. And when I tried to fucking return it. Uh, they wouldn't take it back because I guess uh, they have a seven day return policy. Whatever, I fucking forgot. Sue me. Yeah, get angry at GameStop for having a return policy so people wouldn't just buy a game and bring it back for a full refund when they beat it. It's not like they tell you about the policy every time you buy a game. Also, if the game didn't work, why did you wait for over a week to take it back? Just asking. So, I already have a 3DS anyways. I'm sorry, what does this have to do with Final Fantasy X, or is this just a drive-by subject change? And, point is, I wanted to see, I was just curious to see how much they would give me for a DSi. I thought they would, they would give me a nice, decent price for it, you know what I mean? DSi, look at this, I paid 170 for this shit when it first came out, okay? 170 bucks, motherfucker. It was like, yeah, 170 It works, look at that, touchscreen works, everything. Uh, first of all, the bitch wouldn't take it because uh, she the screen is cracked. You see these stupid black bars over here, right here. Yeah, even though it works, the, the you know the game works fucking fine. You know everything works just fucking fine. GameStop, they still they wouldn't take it because of that. But even if, even if they would have taken it, you know how much uh, they were offering. See, told you the fucking game works. Look at this fucking Pokemon. Come on, man. Look at that shit. Anyways. Even if uh, it, even if they would have taken it, they offered me thirty-two fucking dollars for this shit. Wait, 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 wait. So let me get this perfectly straight here. You tried to sell GameStop a system with a broken screen, that, and they only offered you thirty-two dollars for it. Well, I guess that is a reasonable complaint when you don't take into consideration that they would have to get the screen replaced, you know, at their cost, and then have to try to sell that again. And with it being an outdated system and everything, they have to try to make some form of a profit. What a bunch of cheap assholes, really! They should have offered at least $70 for a clearly busted DSi. That is the only logical conclusion you can take from this. You do realize that them not offering you that much is kind of your fault for not taking better care of your system. You must be out of your fucking mind. I could go to Amazon or Craigslist and get at least 80 bucks for this. Yeah, until they realize it has a broken screen. Unless, of course, you intend to be one of those dishonest sellers on Amazon. Bullshit. But yeah, 32 bucks they're going to give me. They, they, they would have taken it if it wasn't for those two black bars. Oh, whoop-de-fucking-do. So, to that bitch at GameStop, fuck you. 
Yes, GameStop girl, fuck you for doing as you're told by your employer, thereby not risking your job because this guy wanted to sell you a broken DSi. Okay, what else do I hate about GameStop? I know I've ranted about GameStop before, but I just, just, I gotta say it again. The edge card thing, that sales pitch with the edge card, pisses me off. You know? Hey, what's up, man? You know, you wanna buy an edge card, man? You, I mean, excuse me, you, you, you wanna, um... Allow me to stumble over my words because I'm too busy to script what I'm going to say, and I am an immaculate public speaker. Magazine, just a one-time fee of 20 bucks, and when you trade in your games, you show your card, you get an extra 10% store credit, and you uh, save 10 to 20% off brand new games when you purchase a game. Look at that, I know the fucking sales pitch already because it's been repeated and beaten in my head so many fucking times from the mouths of GameStop employees. I'm tired of the fucking edge card. I don't want your fucking edge card. No thank you. When you tell them no you don't want it, they just continue sh pushing it and shoving it in your fucking face. So, fuck the edge card. I don't want the edge card. That's simple. I have an edge card because the perks just greatly outweigh the cost of $20 a year. Oh yeah, and yet again, fuck you, GameStop employees, for following the sales protocols you're told to follow, thereby, once again, not risking your jobs. But I do have to ask you this. Do you get pissed off every time you go through the drive through window at a McDonald's and they ask, do you want fries with that? Or every time you go to a movie theater and they say, oh, well, if you spend an extra quarter, you can upsize your drink to a large. Like I said, no matter time, every time you say no, they'll still try to push it on you one more time. Uh, another thing about GameStop I noticed when you go there, um, see, the employees can be annoying sometimes, as I said. Um, one thing I, I, I notice about GameStop is that, see, I'm the type of person I observe my surroundings, I'm always just observing everything. Then why don't you observe the open cabinet doors behind you? Because for someone with slight OCD issues, like me, it's kind of annoying. I'm always observing everything. The fucking pigeons on the floor eating bread and shit. Wait, there are pigeons in your local GameStop? That must be a new feature they haven't implemented here where I live. Are there homeless guys feeding them as well? But anyways, uh, back to the topic. I noticed that sometimes you have those same group of teenagers, it's mostly teenagers anyway, that go there to chit chat with the GameStop uh, employee friends. And nothing wrong with it. I understand after school you go there, hang out with your buddies at GameStop. Whatever, fine. But sometimes you see, most of the time, it's the same teenagers that go there. Hey, man. Hey, hey, what's up, Mr. GameStop? What's up? Hey, what's up, uh, GameStop employee shit face? It's me. It's me. <laughs> yeah, I know that song is kind of outdated, but it fits. After school from 3 to, to hang out here from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Closing time to talk about video games. Oh, my Modern Warfare 3, shove a grenade launcher on my fucking ass. Yeah, 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 noob tube, man. Sentry gun, sentry gun in my fucking dick hole. Yeah, it's, it's me. Over 17,000 subscribers, people. 17,000 people enjoyed this stuff. And showed up my fucking sister's ass. Yeah, oh, yeah, Arkham City, yeah, you find the six Titan containers, work with Bane, yeah, yeah. Answer the fucking phone call, yeah, it's me, Elton the Nerd fucking dick face, yeah! So you have an issue with some of the customers and clientele for GameStop. Please remind me of how this is GameStop's fault again. Honestly, this segment reminds me of another person I covered lately. Okay, number one, so packed in Walmart on a Saturday. Everywhere you turn, you hit someone else's car. No joke, and if you don't have a car, when you walk you in with someone else. The difference here is, she's a 12 year old girl who didn't know what she was talking about. And she probably was forced to go on that day with her parents. While well, this guy is a grown man, and I use that phrase loosely mind you, who should be able to go through life without this bothering him by now. What I'm trying to say is, if the clientele bothers you, walk out the door as you came back in because no one's forcing you to stay there. See what you people got me started? And no offense to Elton, I, I know an Elton, no offense to you, dude, but your your name was the first one that popped in my head when I was talking about typical teenagers at GameStop that come in and talk about video games, Elton the nerd dick face. Which means psychologically that that is how you perceive your buddy, because subconsciously, they remind you of him. 
So yeah, that's what I got to say about GameStop, and let me know uh, your thoughts, people. I am doing just that. So remember that you asked to hear our thoughts. So don't get all pissy if you see this. I know, I try to avoid GameStop, but I just... <laughs> whatever. Peace out, people. Later. Overall, the only thing I have left to say is this. If you have such an incessant hatred for GameStop, then stop going to GameStop. You stated the reasons why going to Amazon or Craigslist can be a much better idea. So by going to GameStop, you are purposefully punishing yourself. Every one of your issues can be solved by not walking into those doors under the sign that says GameStop. So your complaints were items that are nothing but petty bitching for the most part. And when you look at the situation with the little logic, this is the professor and I will see you ladies and gents on a later date. Adieu. Okay, class is dismissed. Ugh.